Oh, playing with the logo. This is half the fun of this game. I'm gonna be honest. This stuff, this rocks, man. Just can't say no. Anyway, all right. Uh, what's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Black and White 2, doing the Evil Run. This is exciting. There was some confusion in the previous video, so I'll take a moment here before we actually start to say that the reason I started with episode for saying part five is because I was hoping that this series would sort of be an extension of the other LP. I guess I didn't make that really clear, but the first four parts of my black and white LP that I, that's already finished on YouTube, they're basically going to be identical, good versus evil. So I didn't feel the need to redo those islands because there's basically nothing that's going to be changed. That's why we started here on the Norseland, because that's the first island where you actually do stuff. So we're basically finished here. I just wanted to show off one thing that we, we could have done, but we didn't do, which would have been helpful in an army setting, is the Undead I Legion down like here. To be around this, place at night. This, this one gets, uh... I, I guess this actually got some coverage in the uh, good run, so you've probably seen, you might have seen this before. But it's something I feel the need to point out for the, the, the warriors out there. To be found here? Why don't you click on the tombstones and see what happens? Yeah, so in the, in the, you have to click on them, I think, in the order they were, in order they died or something. I don't know, I'm just gonna... See that? Yeah. This one lit up. Maybe we need to click them in some order to light them all. Honestly, I figured it out just by trying some faster than I ever would have just, uh... I, I remember looking at, at it in the good run and reading the years and having a hard time remembering which was which and messing it up. Just go in like a star shape like this. That's all there is to it. Undead Legion! I, just love, I love the way that the devil says Undead Legion after they come out. It's very funny. It kind of reminds me of the Undead Army in the Lord of the Rings. And they're just as effective. Waha! Yeah, so it's a swordsman platoon, I think with like a dozen guys. But they are max level warriors, so they are nasty dudes. I'm not sure why waking these undead Norsemen gets you more people, but well, whatever. Whoa! Our own undead legion! We can wreak <laughs> havoc with these guys! He does the zombie walk, very nice. So you can see that they are an awesome platoon to yeah, a dozen guys fully leveled up. They are astounding, which increases their uh, power, their speed, they're just, they're rocking. So you can compare that to our, our strongest men who survived the battle, who now have four little uh, pips on their flag. There's only do only half a dozen of them that survived, only six of them lived through that battle. So let me show you what the other things we've done. They've been fairly flat, not too exciting. Oops, that's the one I wanted to look at, actually. So the objectives, well, I went over and did the nut oil thing, which is where you toss the barrels around on these islands over here. Not a super exciting quest, but it does have that fun song in it. If you haven't seen the good LP, you should definitely check it out and look at that that part where we did the nut oil. It's very funny. So then just villagers collecting things. We did all of those without even trying. Making disciple breeders. To get the creature to build houses, I just stuck him down here and clicked on each house in turn and had him build them. And then 10 buildings on an impressive area. That's going to be this hilltop here to the left of your town center. That's an impressive area. And then build a field on fertile land. That's pretty easy. Watering things, making disciple worshippers. Easy. So we level up a platoon to regular skill by doing the war. I got the creature to entertain people. And then getting him to collect things and kill platoons is just a matter of you know, keeping him busy. Need you need sleep. It's, it's nighttime. Go to bed. What are you doing running around the town? Anyway... So deforesting the land, yeah, forget that. There have been numerous reports of people online saying that they've gotten every tree, every single tree, and it just never ticks off, so I'm not going to even bugger around with that. I think it's I think it's broken. I spent hours. I actually went back to our world save for the uh, good run, and I spent sure a whole other hour looking land? for that last tree. And I think the theories are that you might have to plank all of them, like put them all into workshops or, or into, not workshops, storehouses or into houses or something. But if, it might be that throwing them in the ocean doesn't get rid of them. Who knows? 
But I wouldn't bother attempting that one, it'll take too long. Leader, I've been hearing rumors that some more of our people survived the Aztec volcanoes. Some elite archers managed to fight their way clear of Oh the yeah! We need to find them. We need all the elite troops we can get. We need everyone we can get. Archers or not, they're on another land. We must go and find them. Yes. Archers, what are we waiting for? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I also threw the Norseman, which is not a very exciting quest. I took about an hour of just throwing him because it always goes in slow motion. I figured I wouldn't show that. Pretty boring. And then look at him, he's up to seven in height. So he's, he's growing, he's becoming a, a nasty creature. His muscles going up and down. We're going to be training him up pretty soon. Uh, we already bought him the first warrior upgrade, so he's good in that regard. When I say training him, I mean we're going to be teaching him what to do and what not to do. Because I've only gotten the basics for him. He's not learned everything yet. Onward to Hanshai! This place doesn't look so bad. We should be able to take it over with a little effort. Great! More warfare! This is what makes my blood tangle! But <laughs> if you're impressive, you don't need to win through bloodshed. Because you win without having to fight. There doesn't seem to be any opposition. And look! The missing archers! Hmm. Yeah, this land is really easy. Uh, if you're trying to impress them or not, it's still a remarkably easy land. And here, we're going to build our first wonder. I'm very excited ah, about it. There were some juicy towns to ransack! I'm gonna like this place! And here you actually start, you compete in a city building contest with the enemy, because they, they don't start with the whole city. Their city's Another empty. Portal. Who does that belong to? The rumors of the Greeks return are true. My brother has sent me to make this island safe. This I will do. Oh, sounds like a tribal commander, boss. We'd better start building now. These Japanese seem to be formidable builders themselves. And get some armies, boss. They look pretty handy at fighting as well. Yeah, so the, uh... Yeah, it's a little bit crazy. The enemy here is going to be... They, see, they give you these... Got, Sorry. See, 50 warriors. Now that's nice, boys. Well, real nice. Yeah, so... They give you 50 archers to start with. And you might think, hell, let's just run over there and take the town. But it's designed so that they have more. That way you can't snap them up like that. The Aztecs command us to. All right, let's see what I can get going here. An army marches on its stomach, and these guys will eat twice the normal rate. So keep an eye out on your stores. I'm gonna Leader, district things a little differently this time. You must start building a wall inside your influence. Yes. It is outside it, but not in an enemy's influence. So, well, this is the only wall we need really need to build. So you can just stick it down wherever. That it's already started for you. Will not protect you from the magnificence of our city. Same thing about that one. Very easy. Now, one of the things you can do is here. Let me uh, wait. Where's the objectives menu? So one of them is to take over enemy towns. Well, there's some towns that are just sitting right here behind your your town. So it's go and snatch those up with your archers right at the very beginning, and you'll you'll be doing well. All right. So we need to get some stuff going here. Now, there's ore rocks in the way, which is kind of annoying because I'd like to put those ore rocks into the. Uh, Storehouse. I'm gonna go as far as I can with this. That's pretty good. This game is a little hard to commentate on. I, I didn't remember <laughs> how hard it was the last time I did it because there's so many things I want to talk about when I'm LPing this game because there's so much happening. I will store enough to keep the fallen of this conflict alive for years to come. Yep. So we're already taking over enemy towns, which is nice. A warring nation needs resources. And this storehouse will be full of them. It's hey going to put the fields down on fertile land. To build an archer armory. Oh, I hey, will. Let's do it. Their land will soon yield them all they require. You don't have a whole lot of trees when you start this land, so you're going to want to propagate some forests if at all possible. Just plant some trees out by themselves. Before they choose the path of war, a path we know every inch of, and will defend with honor. So did I get an influence ring over there? Cities. No, they Nothing migrated. You can erect can match my city. See, look, the people have all migrated from the town because it's too close to our town. 
And so their the buildings are being destroyed. I think it's part of the resources that they bring with them. Not totally sure. This area will be totally cleared out and we'll be able to use it. It's nice. So I'm sending these archers to take over this town too. So look at that wall built without too much trouble. Still need more fields, huh? I think they just want those because they're hungry. Let's just put some food in the storehouse. Oh, still? Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to fill up the open areas with fields because we've got to get our food going pretty quickly here. Especially with our army already being on the ground. They want a... They want a... What? Really? It surprises me that they want the uh, altar already, but okay. I'm going to try and expand my influence ring. So I'll put it over here. I don't want to kill all the trees either. So I'm going to try and save some of them. Damn. That's not what I want to do. Alright, and then we'll just put the rest in here. So, god building, you lose something like a quarter of the resources that you're using. Maybe it's more like a fifth, but it's it's enough that you got to be careful when you're building things and with god building, because you are wasting resources by doing it. So this land, we're still not going to get too crazy into our our army nation kind of. It's hard to explain exactly. We're not going to have a war economy in this land. We're going to win, uh, did I get my, oh, hello, we got a migration coming in. That's nice, because you get that good bonus of people right at the beginning. There's only six from that town. Let's see if they're going to want to migrate from over here. Does it look like it? I don't have an influence ring back there. I, what? What is happening? Are those people going to migrate, or what? If I, I should either get an influence ring, or they should migrate to my town. I don't know. Oh, look, they're building the wall. That's good for them. I mean, it is good for them, you know, they've got to have a wall around the town. So we're not going to get a real war economy going in this land. We're mostly going to be I have winning through smarts. Their town grows quickly. Uh, tell me I can't fit a house down there. You kidding me, man? Yeah, he doesn't want to live right in the middle of all his friends. <laughs> like, forget that. Oh, yeah, I knew it. Ah, there we go. It looked like enough room. Start the construction of the Siren Wonder. What? So you look over here. Oh, this is bad. Where is he putting Our it? Our town yep. is now landscaped. We set great store by beauty. Landscape? If the Aztecs did not have us in their power, we would end this conflict. We have no true quarrel with these Greeks. Sure you don't. I don't believe anything he says. Alrighty then. Let's continue here. We're going to need armories, so... Oh, wait, where's the fertile land? Oh, it's all fertile over here, isn't it? I should probably put the armories somewhere where it's not too fertile. They don't want to live next to the armory. Oh, well. Too bad! Oh. Try and plant some trees out here on the outskirts to just spread out more forest. Death? Oh, he's eating villagers. Okay. What? <laughs> what death? See, this is weird. I took over this town, but I don't have an influence ring down here. I think it's because they're too close. Either way. Almost done with the wall. Yeah, almost done with the wall. That's good. I could get the creature to do it if I wanted to. Alright. So some trees are already growing down here where I planted these. That's handy. I'll we'll throw it into the altar. Why not? Oh, just barely enough, and then you can replant the little saplings that you get. Yeah, we've officially outgrown our need for trees now. We got plenty of them spread it spread out, so they're gonna they're gonna expand with no problems. So we can now house our people. Continue down this way. Excellent. Line. Their villas right. have a certain beauty to them. Ah, oh, the people want a temple. That's fine. I'll be nice to them and put it near the house where I'm gonna put the houses. A magnificent temple. We will earn respect from all yeah. outsiders. I'm just gonna chip those trees rather than trying to do something with them. Let the, I'll let the villagers do that smoke that corner building. Okay. Give me another storehouse. Yeah, alright, we'll get we'll get there, don't worry. Let's put it here, why not? Get the building started. They actually still have food in the, in the storehouse. 
don't know what they're complaining about. I guess I should grab anybody who's not a breeder and make them into a farmer. Disciple farmers. And the rest will be builders. Although honestly, you could do the building yourself and you wouldn't lose much time. Don't, I don't ever make that many builders. Because eventually you're going to have enough buildings and you're not going to be building enough that it's going to matter to you. I'm a little miffed about there not being an influence ring down here. I'm going to extend down there and grab those people soon. Okay. Ah, gather that for you there. Just fill up these spaces with farms. Oh, now they have... Now they're fine. They're happy with it now. Okay, whatever. Now that the farmers are going. We need more mana. Yeah, they, they need a lot of things. We'll get there. Come on, hold the line, boys. You know what I could do is I could go ahead and take this town and just put the wall out here. Eh, that would be fine, I think. Where's my gatehouse? Can I open it before it's done being built? Yes, I can. Great. Stick together! These archers are going to be getting some experience from all this town capturing they're doing. Don't run around, you idiots. Go get this town. I can't just grab this wall, can I? Yeah. For some reason, you're, you're allowed to just snatch up this wall, even though it's outside your influence ring. But that one is too far off, I guess. Codes seem uneasy for. As the teachings of war say, fear not your enemy. Yeah, you best be fearing your enemy, boy. These people join us and take up our code of honor. Yeah. We will benefit from their strengths. The strength. Uh oh, what is this? He's building the siren, isn't he? Yeah. I will watch with interest while the siren does her walk. This is going to be an interesting thing to deal with. The way we're going to deal with it is we're going to build our own siren. And that's what's going to happen. Let me open up the tribute menu and oh, show you what this us. does. We gain strength in such growing numbers. We cannot fail. So we've got all kinds of goodies going on down here. Let's scroll way to the end and look at the siren. Here we go. The siren's call lures, lures all people to believe and join them. So yeah, so it turns enemies into friendlies, essentially. Need more wood. Okay, go and get some wood. There's plenty of trees around here. See, those trees we planted at the beginning of the video, they've already sprouted into little groups of five or six standing around where I put them, see? It's a good way to provide your town with resources, to start planting trees early. You don't want to run out, that's for sure. More mana, alright. I'll make some worshippers pretty soon. We're going to be wanting to use miracles in this land anyway. See, what I'd like to do is just take all the ones that are breeders, that are already that are done with their jobs, like the men that are just standing around, and just make them worshippers now. Because once, once the women are, are pregnant, and they don't need to be a disciple worshipper anymore, they're going to have that kid when, or a disciple breeder anymore because they're going to have that kid one way or the other. It's just about the next time around if you're thinking that far ahead. There we go. Step up our defenses. Send out traders. The teachings say we must not let this lie. Okay, so I'm not going to... How many people live in this town? Fifteen. Okay, well. Let's see if I can grab them all. I do have an influence ring here, don't I? Never bow to intruders. Our gatehouses stand as warnings to all. Where are my people? There we go. Two. Yep, yeah, come out of your houses so I can grab you. Ten. Eleven. Fifteen. Okay. Yes, they're not going to live in that town. They're going to live in this town. I want everybody in one place. So you can pick people up and just move them to the other town. And they'll get look at the picture. <laughs> it's divine influence. I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, when the when the good in conscience guy says, you can put people next to something and they'll take it as divine inspiration and become a disciple. Like, what are the breeders thinking? Oh, like, you know, the god put me next to somebody of the opposite gender. I better start making lots of babies. I'm like, what? You think that's your inspiration? Man, that's... I gotta say. Ah! wishful thinking, I think. Can I grab this wall now? Yes. Good. It's facing the wrong way. What the heck? What's going on with that? <laughs> you, you serious? Why would the wall be pointing in? See, the wall's supposed to, the arrow's supposed to point out. That wall's gonna be facing the wrong direction. Our archers won't know what the hell's going on. That's very strange. Get out of here. 
I'll build a new one. It's alright. We can deal with it. It's not very costly to throw down a few villas up here. I might even steal all the trees from this town. Alright, so let's start our own wall. I didn't need to put that other villa down. We're not really gonna need this wall, I don't Dang it, no, go. We unite against the Greek menace. Go this way. Honor and power shall drive them from this land. Boom, there's one side. Then we need a straight part for the gatehouse. Okay. Ugh. Straight part for the gatehouse, and then you curl it around. Magnificent temple. Not quite no enough. Respect from all Dang it. Outsiders. Well, that works, I guess. Boom, there we go. So I'm making walls that are going to be able to train archers if they decide to come after us. Which they probably won't. Let me just go ahead and build whatever I can of this. Do -do -do -do. I have underestimated them. Their town grows quickly. And done. The wall is finished. The right. people migrate to the Japanese way of life. Take all the food from over there. It's not like they're using it. And let's put our archers up on our wall. Oh, here. Let's put a gatehouse in, too. There we go. Alright, looking good. Looking good. Let's get some more houses built. We gotta have more people soon.